The next group of special tests is going to be for the pelvis or sacral test. The first one that we're going to be doing is, is called the SI joint or sacroiliac joint uh, fixation test. For this one what we're going to do is we're going to have the patient stand um, with the SI uh, joint um, exposed. The athletic trainer or therapist is going to stand behind the patient with uh, both thumbs uh, on the uh, PSIS and then uh, to test this the athletic trainer uh, we're going to check the level uh, see if uh, the, our thumbs are level uh, with them standing uh, on both feet with equal weight. Uh, if the uh, two thumbs or PSIS are not equal then there's a fixation on one side or the other side. And that's it. The next special test that we're going to do is called the SI stress or SI distraction test. For this one we're going to have the, the patient is going to be supine and the athletic trainer or therapist is going to stand uh, uh, lateral to the patient and uh, the athletic trainer or therapist is going to um, ha cross their, their arms um, in this position so that the heel of the hands or the palm of the hands are on the um, uh, ASIS for each joint. Uh, and then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be applying a, um, an outward and downward pressure um, to both hands at the same time. And what we're looking for is unilateral pain would be a positive test. Or for an SI joint, it could also be um, positive for a gluteal injury um, or a leg injury. Um, and th more specifically, this could be the anterior SI ligament sprain. The next special test that we're going to do is called the SI stress or compression test. And for this one, again, we're going to have the per person uh, can be um, uh, supine. And what we're going to do for this one is we're going to put uh, the heel of our hands on the outside of the hips on top of the uh, iliac crest and then again we're going to be pushing uh, downward downward in this direction and um, we're going to be pushing downward inward and downward and what we're looking a positive test for this one would be a unilateral pain um, in the SI joint or gluteal or leg area, this would be an indication for a posterior um, SI ligament sprain. So the next special test that we're going to do for the uh, pelvis is going to be the, uh, the long sit test. And for this one, the patient is going to be uh, supine with the heels off the edge of the table. Uh, and the knees extended. Then the athletic trainer or therapist is going to stand at the patient's uh, feet um, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting uh, our hands uh, around the ankle joint with our um, thumb on the medial malleola on both sides. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to um, uh, apply slight traction to the legs while the athlete um, arches and lifts his buttocks uh, off the table, uh, moving him into a, a supine or sitting position. Um, the, in this position, the malleoli should, should move from long to a short position. So as we compare those bilaterally, uh, the malleolus moves from a short to a long position. Uh, this would be an indication for a posterior rotation of the ilium on the sacrum. Um, if the malleoli move from a, a long to a short position, um, comparing these uh, bilaterally, 
that would be a positive indication for an anterior rotation of the ilium on the sacrum. The next special test that we're going to be doing is called the Gaines lens test. Uh, for this one, we're going to ask the patient to uh, lie on, a, on the good side, um, on the bottom, uh, with the, close to the side of the table. Uh, the back, his back is going to be to the athletic trainer therapist. And then what he's going to be doing, uh, he's going to bring, bring the, the good knee uh, to his chest. Uh, the, bottom, the bottom knee he's going to be bringing to his chest. Uh, and while he's doing that, the athletic trainer therapist is, is going to uh, hold the, uh, lower the, the leg and stabilize the pelvis. Uh, and then we can also uh, hyper extend the knee. Um, the, the injured knee uh, for the upper leg and what we're looking for a positive sign for this would be uh, localized pain in the uh, SI joint uh, indicating an SI joint problem or pathology. A special test we're going to be doing for pelvis and SI problems is, going to, is called the Yeoman's test. Uh, for this one the, we're going to ask the patient to be in a prone position uh, with both uh, legs uh, uh, extended off the table. An athletic trainer is going to stand uh, uh, lateral to the patient um, and uh, both legs are going to be um, extended uh, and what the athletic trainer is going to do is going to uh, cup the uh, distal thigh uh, and the distal leg okay and um, uh, bring it up into hyperextension and then we're going to passively flex the knee uh, to 90 degrees okay I'm going to leave that one over because I think yeah we're going to have to start I think at zero and then bring them to 90 okay take two uh, the next special test we're going to do uh, is called the yeoman's test for this one we're going the patient is going to be in a prone position with uh, both legs uh, extended. Uh, the athletic trainer is going to be standing the lateral to the patient. And uh, what we're going to do for this one um, is we are going to uh, uh, cup the um, uh, the leg, uh, bring it up into uh, 90 degrees of uh, flexion. Um, and then we're also uh, going to hyper extend the hip a little bit and then we're, we're going to passively um, put them uh, 290 degrees while simultaneously uh, extending the affected hip like this and what we're going to get is an increased pain in the, the sacroiliac area indicating uh, anterior SI ligament sprain. They may also have pain in the thigh. This would be an indication for a hip flexor, thigh muscle, or femur nerve tension injuries. The next special test that we're going to be doing is called the Gillett test. And this is similar to the SI fixation test. Uh, for this one, the patient is going to be standing uh, with the athletic trainer or therapist standing up uh, posterior to the patient. Uh, and again, uh, using our thumbs, uh, we're going to uh, palpate the uh, PSIS on, on both sides uh, bilaterally uh, and maintain this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to ask the patient uh, to uh, flex his uh, uh, his hip uh, on the affected side bringing his knee to the chest okay and then a positive test would be the PSI assess on, on the unilateral side uh, you can go ahead and put bring it down the PSIS on, uh, on the uh, ipsilateral side of the knee flex does not move or moves minimally this would be an indication for uh, PSIS uh, on the side of flexed hip should move uh, slightly anterior during hip hip action that's it